Hello science enthusiasts, welcome to another episode of Beacon Bill Science. If you are from the field of biology or from the field of chemistry, then there is a very good news for you all. I have got a very interesting news for you all to boost your career or if you have not started to start launch your career. Now the news is that the USA has produced a bill which is known as a biosecure bill. What is this biosecure bill and how this is going to help India to grow in the field of biomedicine and in the field of chemistry. Recently, USA has introduced a bill which is a biosecure bill. The USA has identified some of the Chinese companies in the field of chemistry and the field of biomedicine that as a threat for their national security. And that's why they are stopping their business in China. Now, how it can be a good for India? Because the USA companies who are dealing with the Chinese companies for their requirement for the biomedicinal products and for the chemicals now shifting toward India. And our Indian companies are grabbing it and they are getting so many projects in this field. Now to complete these projects, they need employees like us, the chemists or the biologists like us. Here I am Dr. Aman Bajpay. I will give you some of the tips which will help you in cracking your interviews. Now, one of the very important question that organic chemistry person, whether he is a PhD candidate or he is the MSc candidate, he has to face is the coupling reaction. The acid amine coupling or the acid alcohol coupling. The interviewer will ask you, what are the reagents that you can use to do the coupling of acid amine coupling or acid alcohol coupling? Probably you can name one, two, three, four, five, right? I'll teach you here 14 reagent name and also the structures of these reagents because interview after asking the number of uh, reagents you know uh, in the coupling then they will ask you can you draw the structure of this particular reagent then I'll teach you how you can remember those structures of the reagent after that the important question is like what is the mechanism how this works like how you these reagents helps to connect the acid amine coupling or the acid alcohol coupling that also I will teach you and in the last they can ask you what is the most recent reagent has been introduced in this field. So all these things in this video stay tuned till the end. Let's start with the name of the reagents. BOP, BOP, PIBOP, AOP. IAOP, HATU, HBTU, HOBT, HOAT, DCC, EDCHCL, DPPA, TFFH, COMU, and PIOXIL. Learn all these coupling reagents by heart. After learning the names of these reagents, now it's time to know the mechanism of these coupling reagents. All the coupling reagents follow the same sequence. These coupling reagents act as the activator for the COH group. The COH group attached to this coupling reagents and these coupling reagents make the COH group a good leaving group because the OH group attached to the COH group is not good leaving group but when these coupling reagents attach to this oxygen it becomes a good leaving group. Now once it becomes a good leaving group the amine or the alcohol act as a nucleophile attached to this carbonyl carbon and then once they attack it they remove this oxygen along with the coupling reagents and that's how the amide bond or the ester bond form. Although all the coupling reagents shows a similar kind of mechanism but the electrophilic group in the coupling reagent is different. Some cases it is phosphorus atom, in some cases it is carbon. So you have to remember which reagent you are using and what is the electrophilic center to that particular reagent. Two new reagents which are recently added to the coupling reagent series is COMU and PIOXIL. These two new reagents are highly advanced. Both can be operated in a normal condition and their side product is non-allergic. Now the question is how you are going to remember the structures of these reagents. So you can see there is a pattern in most of these reagents. The pattern is a triazole ring. Triazole ring is basically a five member ring in which a three nitrogen atom attach adjacent to each other. This ring is common to BOP, PIBOP, AOP, PIAOP, HOBT, HATU, uh, 
uh, HBTU uh, and HOAT, all these uh, reagents are having this ring common. And followed by this ring, there is a nitrogen and oxygen bond attachment and followed by the oxygen and phosphorus bond or the oxygen and carbon bond. This is a common structure for these reagents. Once you remember this uh, common structure, you can remember all the reagents in structure. This is very simple. Just pay focus on the pattern of these reagents. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I hope this video will be informative for you. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also comment me down below what are the questions that you have faced during your interview and what are the questions you want me to cover. Also, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet. See you in the next video.